Hey guys, this is General Malice here, and we're going to go over my Electrum Sabercrafts Remnant that's heavy weathered and metal damage. So I just wanted to give y'all a close-up look of the Saber guys because, first and foremost, I want to say Electrum Sabercraft does an awesome, awesome job on their weathering. Everything on here is just superb. Like, uh, I, I thought at first when I was looking at it that it was going to be maybe just purely paint and stuff like that, but no, 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 no. No, no, no. They went above and beyond all the different things that they did on here. So we'll start off from the bottom. We'll get from the pommel and we'll get to the emitter. So first and foremost, we'll start off with this. So this is their uh, pommel. I went ahead and ordered a cover tech wheel. Now, it looks like if I would have not ordered that, I or if I would have asked, I could possibly have the cover tech wheel be the retention hole for this because it is just a cap, guys. Closed end. It has side vented pommels for a 360 uh, sound. All right, but let's go ahead and look at this. So it looks like. See if we can get a good there. So this is the weathering. It hasn't rubbed off yet, so I'm assuming it's aluminum black. Nice, nice wear marks. Good scrapes. And look at that, guys. They melted that in, and I love it. Gives it so much character. So if you want to look at the end, looks like we got a little 24 millimeter speaker. Maybe it's a 22. It's not very big, but it's okay. It's actually quite loud. Um, they come with a micro USB 2, a kill switch, if you can see that there. We also have the micro SD slot. They provide a one gig card, so it's a little bit smaller compared to other companies who usually provide a 16 gig, but that's okay. This is a cap that they tell you not to remove, so it looks like you push here and it would come off to gain access to the card area, uh, but most likely there's something to it and I'm not going to touch it. Um, let's put this back. Let me put this on. Go ahead and close it up because I think it sounds better and I don't want to mess it up while I'm moving it. And then it gives you the aesthetic of what it's supposed to look like. Alright, so we'll continue on. So I went with the uh, 24 karat gold uh, ion switch plate. Uh, I really like how it looks. They took that, I went with the raised box. It does not uh, impede anything. The weathering and how they scrape that up is real nice. Again, more battle marks. One on the center. A nice little crisscross there. And what's cool is you can tell that it's more scrapes down as opposed to someone taking a... a um, any type of Dremel and kind of trying to make it, it looks more natural. Uh, I'm sure they just went across a certain way. They they probably practiced quite a few times. Let's go to this grenade section. Now that's real pretty. Nice good scrapes. Um, looking over here, oh, what's it called? <laughs> I need to turn on the um, dials to where it does the multiple touches. I haven't done that yet. So let's see. I can't remember what they call it, but this is an industry type of welding. And they added a, an arc to it, an arc welder to it. And they were hitting that. And it's really nice. Scraping on the grenade. Nice natural weathering. Blaster marks. Like, that's cool. 
Like, I wasn't expecting that. That's really nice. And look at that. Just all the way down. It's just the way that looks. It looks so natural. All right, let's go to the next part. Go to the neck. The neck's nice. Good choke point. All right, let's go to this emitter. Again, same type of designs, nice hits with these welds, nice melting, but it's not destroyed. It doesn't hurt the structural integrity of it all. Really well done. Just really quality. It looks really good. I can't argue that enough. So we'll take a look at it one more time. Turn it on so you can see what it looks like. There's one more way to do it. I think I'm doing it right. Ah, it's alright. So I was trying to just change the fonts. Alright, but that's it. That's my Electrum Saber Craft a remnant that is heavily weathered. Again, I went ahead and got it in the uh, copper finish accent finishes. 24 karat gold um, ion switch plate, heavily weathered, battle heavy damage. This, I mean, this is what they call heavy damage, and it is just really nice. If you haven't got a chance to check them out, guys, I would. I'll put a link down below to where I purchased this. Um, and, you know, just tell me what you think. If you, if you see something that you like here or something that they probably could have done different, let me know. Uh, if you know another company that uh, does really good weathering uh, as well for their sabers, let me know. Guys, if you like what you see, hit like and subscribe. If you don't, smash that dislike button, and that's okay with me. But keep on watching. You know, Stay tuned. We're going to have that uh, standard battle issue saber that's going to be etched, weathered, and leathered that we're going to be giving away soon. Look out for that. Besides that, stay safe out there, everybody. Have a good night.